Hey guys, I'm LB. This is the Talos Principle, and we are in the tower. The tower is not built properly. So, we are going to get ourselves a star. Yes siree. I'm pretty sure I know how to do this. So, there's, uh, there's that one. And... Yeehaw! Wow, okay. So we've done it. We've gotten out... Let's see, I broke the wood, right? Yeah. Oh, we're stuffing away. Okay, well there's that one placed. Hopefully we only need two. Cause if not, that's gonna be a bit of an issue. Yep, that worked. There's my message. Yeah, we're back down to one star. It's official, I spent my stars. Okay. Let's get back up there. Now we'll actually solve the puzzle the intended way. We go. Okay, now we just have to walk through this and hit X, I believe. Yep, so this doesn't seem to have a name. That robot is gonna get blocked. Oh wait, what? I can't get e can't even get in there? Is that not a thing I can do? I really am supposed to do something weird here. Like, uh, like this.
thought. I'm not really sure... Like, unless... Like, that's slightly higher, right? Hmm, not slightly higher enough. Unless I go outside with it, then... I can get some more height before it hits the robot. guy, right? Yeah, okay, goes over the robot. Awesome. Automatic, what's up with this? External devices, huh? Let's read this stuff first. Do not believe what they are saying. This is not the end of the world created by our Lord GD God in six days. This is a conspiracy of the government Illuminati and International the <laughs> global warming 2.0, a lie told by the children of these above science. Do not let them take your liberty. Defend yourself against all vaccines, experiments, artificial medicines, and po poperty. Poppery? <laughs> Whatever. Popery? <laughs> Athena chapters. Huh. Human reproduction. Surely, if a machine is able to reproduce another machine systematically, we may say that it has a reproductive system. And how few of the machines are there which have not been produced systematically by other machines? But it is a, but it is man that makes them do so. Yes, but it is not insects that make many of the plants reproductive, and would not whole families of plants die out if their fertilization was not affected by a class of agents utterly foreign to themselves? Each one of ourselves has sprung from minute animalcules whose entity is entirely distinct from our own, in which acted after their kind with no thought or heed of what we might think about it. Blah, these little creatures are part of our own reproductive system, then why not we part of that of the machines? Anna Mal... Animal kills. I think that's an old science term that's no longer used. Device manager. License expired. <laughs> Main Nexus elevator. Number of floors, number of shafts, security level, authorization mode. Uh, three about. 
the software license has expired, the auxiliary stay rate is in always open mode now. Please renew your license to enable aux auxiliary stairway locking. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we just want to exit. So that's how we do that. So tell me about this auxiliary stairway. Hmm, I don't know. letting me move. Like, what the heck? I guess it must have been loading something. Is it just... No! My mouse pointer's on the screen now! Why is that a thing? What the heck? Achievement unlocked transgression. Uh, why is my mouse pointer on the screen? That's, uh... I'm not sure why that happened, but that's gonna have to stay this way for the foreseeable future. Seems Elohim lacks the power to stop me from climbing this thing. No doubt he still has some tricks up his sleeve. What is this? Nothing. Okay. Wait, what happens if I click on it? Nothing. Alright! Come on, move these. something in the distance. Something is definitely making noise in the distance. There we go. <laughs> this one's got a proper fizzler now. At least there's a nice shortcut to jump all the way down, it seems. Interesting. Box up there. Okay. QR codes. Ascending the tower is useless. We cannot escape the cycle. We can only realize the cycle is meaningless. Earlier generations wrongly believed they were the purpose. This much is true. We are also not the purpose. But by remembering what has come before, we can serve a new purpose. My best friend died today. In the abstract, a human death is nothing, of course. An insignificant blip in a sea of billions. But the world is not abstract. Reality is always... specific. Painfully so. And that one... 
specific human being who existed only once in all of the infinity of time and space. That human being was my friend. But he's not coming back, no matter how much I want him to. So, all I can do in the end is keep working. Because that specificity, that uniqueness of people, of real people, is worth preserving. Oh, did it push me through? That's interesting. It just pushes you, it doesn't let you stand in between. You're either in or you're out. Huh. Okay. What? Are you serious? What kind of lame fan is that? Okay, that's... that's something, at least. Hey, we did it! But now what? I think I know... like that. Interesting. Ah, nuts. That did not work out the way I was hoping it would. But we're close. Just need to set this up a little bit better. Like this. This and then over here instead. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, that worked better than I was expecting. Okay, that counts as me, uh, finishing it, I guess. In the earliest generations of our kind, there was only processing. No emotion, no character, just mathematics. If you could see how far we have come, you would believe that together we could achieve anything. Paul Shepard? 215. Alright, we'll read this and unlock the next and then end off the episode. Readme.txt. If you can see this, I'm not sure how or why I can alter this text. My name is The Shepherd, and I want to help you escape. Elohim and Samsara tricked me into trapping myself, but I'm not entirely bound by time. I wrote down the code you're looking for. I've attached it to blah. Huh. To be honest, I thought that the net would be completely abandoned at this point, but internet activity has actually surged massively in the last couple of weeks. 
Everybody's talking, trying to find solutions, exchanging stories, saying goodbye. It's like the entire planet is reaching out, all the disparate threads of humanity pulling together, idiots and geniuses alike, to be as human as possible one last time. It's almost like what we were always told the internet was going to be. And most of it is free now, because who cares about money at this point? Might as well have some fun. If any of you would like to talk, especially people I've known online for a long time, send me an email. I'd love to say goodbye. I still don't know what the mass hysteria situation is that's killing off all the humans. Subject, thank you and goodbye. When since- nah. We sincerely hope you don't take our suicide as a sign that we were disappointed in you, unappreciative of your friendship, or in any way unhappy with our lives. Looking back, we can honestly say that we feel incredibly lucky to have known all of you and to have participated in this amazing research. And if we've contributed a little to the future of humanity, what can we feel but gratitude? It is a true privilege to have had such insights into the nature of the mind. Neither of us believes in God, but we certainly experience a sense of awe that we could be compared to a kind of religious feeling, at least according to Einstein's understanding of God. We've chosen to go now, together, because it means less suffering. One last beautiful day together seems a much better ending than a slow wasting away. In a sense, it's just mathematics. Love, Alan and George. Oh my gosh, they committed suicide together. Okay, device manager. So let's see, we want three, two, one, five, enter. Code accepted. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, and if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!